By those winds scattering dust, dispersing. And those clouds carrying a load of water. And those ships sailing with ease. And those angels apportioning each matter. Indeed, what you are promised is true. And indeed, the recompense is to occur. وَالزَّارِيَاتِ زَرْوًا فَالْحَامِلَاتِ وِقْرًا فَالْجَارِيَاتِ يُسْرًا فَالْمُقَسِّبَاتِ أَمْرًا إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَصَادِقٌ وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَوَاقِعٌ صدق الله العظيم Before we proceed with Surah Al-Zariyat, I forgot to tell you that out of the three Madani Surahs of the last group, two were definitely in the form of a pair. Surah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Surah Al-Fatih. But Surah Al-Hujarat was solitary, unique. It has no pair. In the same way, out of these seven Makki Surahs, the first of which was Surah Al-Kaf, this Surah Kaf is unique and solitary. But the rest of the six Surahs are divisible into three pairs. And you will see that the same relationship between Surah Al-An'am and Surah Al-A'raf. In one Surah, you will find At-Taskeer bi ayyam illah. In the other, At-Taskeer bi ala illah. So for two groups, it is very evident. But the third and final group, that is a very unique group in the whole of Quran, we shall discuss later when we reach there, inshallah. Wazariyat is Arwan. By the scattering winds that scatter dust. We have one surah before which started in this style. Basafat is affan, fazajirat is ajran, faltariyat is ikran. So that was surah to Safat. And there we know that it was the angels, you know, who were mentioned over there. But here these are the winds. And you may note it, this reh, the Arabic for wind, reh. And ruh for the soul, for the spirit, they are also very close. Vau wow and ya, they are actually huruf illat, weak alphabets of the Arabic language that take each other's place alternatingly. As I told you, nar and nur are very close to each other. So ruh and re are also very close. By the scattering winds that scatter dust, then they are bearing a blood, that is, of the clouds. Then they are distributing the affairs, that is, whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands, the rain comes. Others, you know, keep dry. What you are being promised is surely true. And definitely. The recompense is sure to happen. This is the main theme of these surahs. Innama tu aduna la waqi, innama tu aduna la sadiqun, wa inna deena la waqi. Whatever is being promised with you that a day will come when you will have to stand before your Lord for that grand accountability, and then you know you will have to face the results of your deeds. إِنَّمَا تُوَعَدُونَ لَسَادِقُونَ وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَوَاقِهِ What you are promised is surely true, and the recompense is sure to come. وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الْحُبُكِ By the heaven containing pathways. وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الْحُبُكِ By the heaven full of paths. 
Indeed, you are in differing speech. Surely you are at variance in your sayings. Deluded away from the Quran is he who is deluded. Turned away from this truth is he who has been diverted. Destroyed are the falsifiers. These conjecturers will perish. Who are within a flood of confusion and heedless. Who are in an abyss and neglectful. يَسْأَلُونَ أَيَّانَ يَوْمُ الدِّينَ They ask, when is the day of recompense? يَسْأَلُونَ أَيَّانَ يَوْمُ الدِّينَ They ask, when shall be the day of, re of recompense? You say it will come, when it will come? يَوْمَ هُمْ عَلَى النَّارِ يُفْتَنُونَ It is the day they will be tormented over the fire. It will be the day when they shall be punished in the fire. And will be told, taste your torment. This is that for which you were impatient. And it will be said, now taste your punishment. This is what you sought to be hissed. Indeed, the righteous will be among gardens and springs. Surely the God fearing will be in the gardens and springs. Accepting what their Lord has given them. Indeed, they were before that doers of good. They'll be receiving that which their Lord will give them. They were before this, before coming here, in the hereafter, in the world, in their previous life. They were excellent in deeds, Muhsineen. كانوا قليلا من الليل ما يهجعون. They used to sleep but little of the night. كانوا قليلا من الليل ما يهجعون. They used to sleep but little at night. They used to keep awake. قم الليل إلا قليلا نصفه وبن قس منه قليلا. وبالأسحار هم يستغفرون. And in the hours before dawn, they would ask forgiveness. And again before the dawn, they, they used to ask the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from their properties was given the right of the needy petitioner and the deprived. And in their wealth, there was a necessary portion for the beggar and the deprived. And on the earth are signs for the certain in faith. And in the earth, there are signs for those who are convinced or who want to be convinced. And in yourselves, then will you not see? And within your own selves also, there are our signs. Don't you see? Can't you peep down into your heart? And in the heaven is your provision and whatever you are promised. And in the heaven is your sustenance and that which you are promised. 
فورب السماء والأرض إنه لحق مثل ما أنكم تنطقون. Then by the Lord of the heaven and earth, indeed it is truth, just as sure as it is that you are speaking. So by the Lord of heaven and earth, إِنَّهُ لَحَقٌ مِسْلَ مَا أَنْتُمْ تَنْتِقُونَ This is surely the truth, just as you are speaking. Just we are talking to each other in the same way. This day of judgment will come. هَلْ أَتَاكَ حَدِيثُ ضَيْفِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ الْمُكْرَمِينَ Has there reached you the story of the honored guests of Abraham? هَلْ أَتَاكَ حَدِيثُ ضَيْفِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ الْمُكْرَمِينَ Has the story of the honored guests of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam came to you? إِذْ دَخَلُوا عَلَيْهِ فَقَالُوا سَلَامًا قَالَ سَلَامٌ قَوْمٌ مُنْكَرُونَ When they entered upon him and said, We greet you with peace. He answered, And upon you peace. You are a people unknown. إِذْ دَخَلُوا عَلَيْهِ the angels, you know, which were sent to bring that chastisement to the two cities, twin cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, which were destroyed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They first of all came to Ibrahim. We have read it several times. Is the Khalu alayhi. When they entered upon him, Fakalu salama, they said, Salam, peace. Qala salamun. Now in reply, Ibrahim also said, peace. But you are a people unknown to me. I don't know you. Maybe this he said in his heart only. Then he went to his family and came with a fat roasted calf. So he turned to his family. And he brought a roasted calf. And placed it near them. He said, Will you not eat? And he laid it before them. He said, Do you not eat? فَأَوْجَسَ مِنْهُمْ خِيفَةً قَالُوا لَا تَخَفْ وَبَشَّرُوهُ بِغُلَامٍ عَلِيمٍ And he felt from them apprehension. They said, Fear not, and gave him good tidings of a learned boy. So he conceived a fear from them. Because in those days, it was the practice of people who went somewhere to kill somebody, they won't taste the salt of that person whom they are going to kill. So, Ibrahim thought, alayhi wasalam, that they want to do some harm to me, that is why they are not eating, you know, from my table. So he conceived a fear from them. They said, don't have any fear. وَبَشَّرُوهُ بِغُلَامٍ عَلِيمٍ And they gave him the good tidings of a knowledgeable son. For Hazrat Ishaq, Alim. And for Hazrat Ismail, Halim. As I told you, this word Halim appears in the Qur'an either for Allah or twice for Ibrahim and once for Ismail. For nobody else in the whole of Qur'an. But compared to Ismail, he was termed Halim, here Ishaq is termed Halim, Halim, knowledgeable. فَأَقُبَلَتِ امْرَأَتُهُ فِي صَرَّةٍ فَصَكَّتْ وَجْهَهَا وَقَالَتْ عَجُوزٌ عَقِيمٌ And his wife approached with a cry of alarm and struck her face and said, I am a barren old woman. فَأَقْبَلْتِ امْرَأَتُهُ فِي صَرَّةٍ then came forward his wife, Hazrat Sarah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, with loud grumbling. Fasakkat wajhaha. And she smote her face, struck her face. Fakalat ajuzan haqeem. And she said, 
an old barren woman. She was nearly ninety-nine at that time of age, and all the life she had been barren. Hazrat Ibrahim was hundred years. So she said, is it possible? What are you saying? I do do nothing. I am very old. And then I have been barren all the life. قَالُوا كَذَلِكِ قَالَ رَبُّكِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْحَكِيمُ الْعَلِيمُ They said, Thus has said your Lord. Indeed, He is the wise, the knowing. قَالُوا كَذَلِكِ They said, This will happen. قَالَ رَبُّكِ This is the saying of your Lord. إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْحَكِيمُ الْعَلِيمُ Verily, He is the wise, the knower. قَالَ فَمَا خَطُبُكُمْ أَيُّهَا الْمُرْسَلُونَ Abraham said, Then what is your business here, O messengers? قَالَ فَمَا خَطُبُكُمْ أَيُّهَا الْمُرْسَلُونَ Now Ibrahim asked them, What's your mission, O people who have been sent, O messengers? قَالُوا إِنَّا أُرْسِلْنَا إِلَى قَوْمٍ they said, Indeed, we have been sent to a people of criminals. They said, We have been sent upon a guilty, for a guilty people. To send down upon them stones of clay. نُرْسِلَ عَلَيْهِمْ حِيَارَةٌ مِنْ تِينَ So that we may send down upon them stones of clay. مُسَوَّمَةً عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ لِلْمُسْرِفِينَ Marked in the presence of your Lord for the transgressors. مُسَوَّمَةً عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ Marked from your Lord for the criminals. مُسَوَّمَةً عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ لِلْمُسْرِفِينَ فَأَخْرَجْنَا مَنْ كَانَ فِيهَا مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ So we brought out whoever was in the cities of the believers. فَأَخْرَجْنَا مَنْ كَانَ فِيهَا مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Then we took out such believers as were there in, in that city. فَمَا وَجَدْنَا فِيهَا غَيْرَ بَيْتٍ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ and we found not within them other than a single house of Muslims. But we didn't find in that city except one house of the Muslims, house of Lut alayhi salatu wasalam. He himself and his two daughters, that's all. Not even his own wife. وَتَرَكْنَا فِيهَا آيَةً لِلَّذِينَ يَخَافُونَ الْعَذَابَ الْأَلِيمِ And we left therein a sign for those who fear the painful punishment. وَتَرَكْنَا فِيهَا آيَةً لِلَّذِينَ يَخَافُونَ الْعَذَابَ الْأَلِيمِ And we left therein a sign for those who fear the painful chastisement. وَفِي مُوسَىٰ إِذْ أَرْسَلْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ فِرْعَوْنَ بِسُلْطَانٍ مُبِينٍ And in Moses was a sign when we sent him to Pharaoh with clear authority. وَفِي مُوسَىٰ And also there are signs in the story of Musa عليه الصلاة والسلام. إِذْ أَرْسَلْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ فِرْعَوْنَ بِسُلْطَانٍ مُبِينٍ When we sent him to Pharaoh with the manifest authority. فَتَوَلَّا بِرُكْنِهِ وَقَالَ سَاحِرٌ أَوْ مَجْنُونَ But he turned away with his supporters and said, A magician or a madman. فَتَوَلَّا بِرُكْنِهِ He turned away arrogantly on account of his might, power. وَقَالَ سَاحِرٌ أَوْ مَجْنُونَ And he said about Musa, Either he is a sorcerer or a madman. فَأَخَذْنَاهُ وَجُنُودَهُ فَنَبَذْنَاهُمْ فِي الْيَمِّ وَهُوَ مُلِيمٌ So we took him and his soldiers and cast them into the sea, and he was blameworthy. أَخَذْنَاهُ وَجُنُودَهُ So we seized him and his hosts and armies. فَنَبَذْنَاهُمْ And we threw them فِي الْيَمِّ In the sea. وَهُوَ مُلِيمٌ And he was blameworthy. وَفِي عَادٍ إِذْ أَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمُ الْرِّيحَ الْعَقِيمِ 
and in Ad was a sign when we sent against them the barren wind. The Ad in the same way, there are signs in the story of Ad. When we sent against them a barren wind. ما تذر من شيء أتت عليه إلا جعلته كرميم. It left nothing of what it came upon, but that it made it like disintegrated ruins. It, it left nothing it came upon, illa ja'alatu karrameen, but it made it like ashes. وَفِي ثَمُودَ إِذْ قِيلَ لَهُمْ تَمَتَّعُوا حَتَّى حِيمٍ And in Thamud, when it was said to them, Enjoy yourselves for a time. In Samuda, in the same way, in the story of Samud, is Gila Nahum Tabakau Hidahi Hattahin, when it was said to them, Now you can enjoy the comforts for a high. فَعَتَوْا عَنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّهِمْ فَأَخَذَتْهُمُ الصَّاعِقَةُ وَهُمْ يَنْظُرُونَ But they were insolent toward the command of their Lord. So the thunderbolt seized them while they were looking on. They revolted against the command of their Lord. And so a thunderbolt seized them while they were beholding. And they were unable to arise. Nor could they defend themselves. Now they couldn't stand up, they couldn't rise up, and nor they were able to defend themselves or to take revenge for themselves. And we destroyed the people of Noah before. Indeed, they were a people defiantly disobedient. And before them, the nation of Nuh, in the Humkanu common Fasikin, verily, they were also transgressing people. Now these were the Ambaur Rusul, Lut, then Hud, Nuh, Saleh, all have been mentioned. Hazrat Musa, they have been mentioned. But about Ibrahim, not of that type, not about Rusul, but only an event that the angels came to him and they had a conversation. And the heaven we constructed with strength, and indeed we are its expander. And the heaven we have made it with our own hands. What does it mean? With our own might. And we are able to extend the vastness of the space thereof. We can expand. Now this comes, or we should say, the theory of expanding universe comes very near to this. We have created the heaven and we can expand it. So that expansion, theory of the expanding universe, now this has come very close to this ayah of Quran. And the earth we have spread out, and excellent is the preparer. And the land, earth, we spread it. So how excellent spreaders are we? وَمِن كُلِّ شَيْءٍ خَلَقْنَا زَوْجَيْنِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ And of all things we created two mates. Perhaps you will remember. وَمِن كُلِّ شَيْءٍ خَلَقْنَا زَوْجَيْنِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ And out of everything we have created pairs that you may be admonished. Then what is the admonishment or reminding in this reality that everything has been created in pairs. There should be a pair of this life. 
life of this world and the life of hereafter. They go to make something complete. Otherwise, this life is incomplete. Here, whosoever doing wrong, he is not punished. Whosoever is doing good, he doesn't get the reward. So this is an illogical life of this world. It will be completed and become logical only when you add to it the life of the hereafter. So this is a couple. This earth and the sky, they are a couple. From there water comes and then earth gives out its vegetation. Just as man and woman. They both go to make, you know, a fulfill a purpose of procreation. Neither only male can procreate, nor only female can procreate, except Mary, Maryam wasalam. But that was an exception by the command of Allah. But you need a male and a female for pro procreation. So this is everything we have created in pairs, that you may be admonished and reminded. So flee to Allah. Indeed, I am to you from Him a clear warner. So run you towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inni lakum minhu nazirun mubeen. Verily, I am a plain warner from Him to you. وَلَا تَجْعَلُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرُ إِنِّي لَكُمْ مِنْهُ نَذِيرٌ مُبِينٌ And do not make as equal with Allah another deity. Indeed, I am to you from him a clear warner. وَلَا تَجْعَلُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرُ And don't set up with Allah another God. إِنِّي لَكُمْ مِنْهُ نَذِيرٌ مُبِينٌ Surely, I am a plain warner from him to you. ذَلِكَ مَا أَتَى الَّذِينَ مِن قَبْلِهِمْ مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا قَالُوا سَاحِرٌ أَوْ مَجْنُونٍ Similarly, there came not to those before them any messenger, except that they said, a magician or a madman. كَذَلِكَ مَا أَتَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا قَالُوا سَاحِرٌ أَوْ مَجْنُونٍ in the same way, whenever a messenger came to those who were before them, they always said, either he is a sorcerer or a madman, Majnoon. Did they suggest it to them? Rather, they themselves are a transgressing people. Had they headed over some legacy, those people of the ancient had given this will to them that you should also say the same to your messenger, which we said for our messenger, Balum Omutahu Ne. They are an transgressing people. So leave them, O Muhammad, for you are not to be blamed. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you turn away from them. Fama antabi maloom, you are not going to be reproached. If they are not believing in you, if they are not responding to your dawah, your call, no blame to you. You have to do your duty and that's all. They will be blamed. They will be blameworthy. They will be caught. They will be seized. They will be punished. Fama antabi maloom, you are not going to be reproached. وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَى تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And remind, for indeed the reminder benefits the believers. وَذَكِّرْ But go on admonishing, go on reminding. فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَى تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Because if this admonition or reminding is not benefiting these people, it definitely benefits those who believe. Repetition, repetition for the Mu'mineen. Reminding and reminding and reminding. So that they are reminded again and again of their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of their consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ 
and I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. And I have not created the jinn and the humans except for the purpose that they should obey me, they should worship me, they should love me, they should adore me. This Friday, you know, I gave this sermon, Friday sermon on this subject, this ayah. This is the purpose of creation. And I gave the Persian couplet of Shaykh Sadi Rahmatullah there. Zindagi Ahmad Barae Bandagi. Zindagi Be Bandagi Shermindagi. This life has been given to us for worshipping and loving and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I explained, what is ibadah? Total obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Total. But with extreme love for Him. These two things go to make ibadah. Total obedience. You have love, but you are not obeying. This is cancelled. You are obeying, but not loving. This is also cancelled. Because you obey even the tyrants, even the dictators, even the oppressors. Is obeying Allah like that? No. Obey Him. But this obedience has to be total. From the depths of your hearts. Out of extreme love for Him. ما أريد منهم من رزق وما أريد أن يطعمون. I do not want from them any provision, nor do I want them to feed me. ما أريد منهم من رزق. I don't want any sustenance from them. وما أريد أن يطعمون. I don't want that they should feed me. إن Indeed, it is Allah who is the continual provider, the firm possessor of strength. On the contrary, Allah is Himself the bestower of sustenance and the Lord of power and ever strong. And indeed, for those who have wronged is a portion of punishment, like the portion of their predecessors, so let them not impatiently urge me. So those who do evil shall have their own portion, like the portion of their companions of the past. What happened to them will happen to these, these people also. So let them not hasten it. And woe to those who have disbelieved from their day which they are promised. So woe to those who disbelieve for the day of theirs which they are promised.